We live in a wonderful community. But a wonderful community that just lost an eight-year-old girl. That dads have lost their sons. Mothers have lost their sons and daughters. It's an epidemic. 26 days ago, Gabby was shot. But somehow, in the greatest nation on earth, that seems to be more acceptable than it would be if it was in Voorhees, Cherry Hill, or Haddonfield. That there's a code that's taking place, that there's silence. A child has been lost and nobody will talk. Orlando, 49 dead. Sandy Hook, Aurora, Oregon, San Bernardino. The list goes on and on. And the item that ties them all together are these weapons of war. And this is not a war on those who own guns responsibly. Those who produce these weapons have an unbelievable grip on many in Congress. We cannot continue to have acceptable the murder rates across our urban centers in this great country. We're spending hundreds of billions of dollars in faraway lands, yet in one city, Chicago, more young men and women have been killed on the street there than in the history of terrorism. We still must protect our nation, but we have to protect our neighborhoods. In my own district, my own city of Atlanta, I've gone to too many funerals. Seen too many hearts broken. I've gone to funerals of police officers. Young children, young babies, mothers and fathers, We have to do something. We have to act now to stop gun violence. We're losing too many of our children, but we were taught that in the bosom of every human being there is a spark of the divine. Amen. And you have to respect it. And you don't have a right to destroy that spark or destroy that human being. That hate is too heavy a burden to bear. So we must love everybody. Hate will destroy it. But what we have going on in many of our communities and towns and cities and neighborhoods is uncontrolled violence. We have to do better. Much better. We all are one family. We're one people. We all live in the same house. Not just the American house, but the world house. We can win this. We can have a victory and stop the killing.